Quay FM, this is The Wally Show, and that is the new song, Joy, from the band for King and & Country. And this is great because we have the guys, uh, Joel and Luke, in uh, with us today. And we're going to talk about uh, the song, obviously, because I, I think there's a, a powerful message in that song that is probably timely. And I want to get your guys' perspective on what you're seeing when you're out playing it. But before that, I have to get to this. You guys were recently in Hawaii. Okay. Yes. Was that vacation or work? Everything. That's good. Yes. Boy, what a great problem to have. Were you on the big island? Or which island were you on? Were you on the uh, one with the uh, volcano? Oh, right? We the, started no. with Kona. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, we started with Kauai. Kauai. <laughs> I've been there. Kona's, big coffee. Kona's the big island. Okay. We started with Kauai. Then I don't went know to, if that's true. I think it's just called the big no, island. Kona, Kona is okay. the... If is you it, look okay. at it geographically, pull okay. it up on your phone. Right. Okay. Kona is actually the large island. If Zach okay. was in here right now, he'd be Googling you because Zach hates misinformation. So I don't even know that. Okay, so start <laughs> Kona. Kauai was where we all had a bit of a holiday. Okay. And Mariah and I celebrated our, our five-year wedding anniversary Oh, there. very cool. And we did our vows because... Uh, we had two passes at our wedding, and they both forgot to do our vows. They failed. So, what? Yeah, I know. Wait, bizarre. at your original wedding? At our original wedding, we had two passes who had done probably accumulatively hundreds of weddings between them. They both jinxed each other, forgot to do our vows. But the beautiful- You the, literally have one job as I, a pastor <laughs> at a wedding. <laughs> well, they, the they, silver, well, the good hey, thing was they didn't pay them. They okay, got to be yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, good. I'm just kidding. The silver, the silver <laughs> lining in it is we actually got to do our vows on Kauai- with just, it was like some of the family, it was about 16 of us, and five years in, and man, vows five years into marriage versus the kind of real serendipitous, right. romantic, That's interesting. pledging your life thing. It was it was really beautiful, and I did do the ugly, ugly cry. Did you? I, I did. I, I get that, man. When my wife, when I saw her first come down the aisle, I cried, and she even handed me a tis- tissue, which that's not <laughs> the most manly thing, uh, but I was just so overwhelmed in the moment. Yeah. So that's yeah. crazy. So for five years, you were living with Ma- Mariah, but you weren't married. Yeah, basically. Because you didn't do your vows. <laughs> wow. We still signed the contract, though, but they did come afterwards like, hey, we are actually, we didn't do the vows. And we didn't do the contract, so you need to sign here. That is amazing. Okay, well, the thing is, uh, we're going to have the ladies on here uh, with you guys in a little bit because we're going to do something called the best couples game, and we'll see how well you do with that, as yeah. well as a thing called Better Half, where they're going to get a chance to answer questions about you guys. Way so- FM, this is The Wally Show, and we got the guys from For King and Country in, and this is their new song, Joy. Let it move. Let it move. I just did a weird joy dance uh, to things that. things you just can't see. I because know. Because you're not in well, the studio. Well, there are cameras here. So yeah, right. Actually, somewhere. they can see it. Oh, I it's forgot somewhere. that. Okay, well, yeah, anyway, yeah. I Ooh. forget sometimes. Uh, you know, a great song, and I, I had the privilege of uh, having uh, coffee with your dad a few weeks ago, the old bloke, and uh, I love him to death. And we talked about this song and how it was doing really well on iTunes, and, like number five, and and then there was all these other songs that were up there. They're all explicit language, you know, and stuff and how mm. this song stands out. And so why do you think that this song stands out? What's the need for this song about joy right now? I think it's because when you uh, look around the world, you look at any, and we even talk about it in the song. Lately, I've been really watching the nightly news. The world is uh, controlled by a lot of dark thoughts, a dark, you know, just difficult things taking place. And I find myself sometimes when I'm, I'm, I'm just you know, living life. And I'm like, man, why am I sad? And it's because I'm just reading different things or experiencing different difficult things through life that I, what's the trump card to, to difficulty? What's the trump right. card to struggle? And I think it's joy. I think when you have, you know, in, in the Bible, it says count it all joy when you experience difficult things, trials. and That's not easy to do, by the way. It's not easy no. to do. <laughs> no. But it's what sets people apart. And I, I don't know about you, but for me, when I have like some of my the, the people that I respect the most are these people that are coming in there and they've, they've got this incredible joy. And usually what happens is I find out, man, that guy has been through X, Y, Z, and yet he's still got this positivity about life. Those are the people I want to be around. Yeah, that's, it definitely is infectious and you gravitate towards that person. I know for me... The part of the song that resonated is talking about choosing joy. Like, because to me, I choose joy that's declarative. And a lot of people don't know this, you know, probably about me because they see one persona, one side of me on the air. Oh, the fun guy or whatever. I have to choose joy so many times in my life. And it's like, I don't know if it's chemical or what have you, but it's just like there's this heaviness and this weight on me so many times. And I 
do a job that doesn't allow for that, you know? And so it's hard, and I, it, it's a conscious thing. And that's why I really like this song, and I think that's why it connects with people. That was a big wrestle, actually, as we were writing it. We looked at every, basically every phraseology of that, you know, I need joy, I've got joy, I want joy. I mean, we went through them all, and we, we landed at Choose very deliberately because it is a choice. Um, and and in, in, in a time and day and age where I think we lean so heavy on emotion, mm-hmm. you know, so heavy on how something, that's why media is so, I think, profoundly important to people because it's emotion. It's emotion bottled up in a film or a song. But when you lean so heavy on emotion, what you lose is, hey, you, under God, if it, and sometimes it's minute by minute, man. Right. Sometimes it's moment by moment. You have the ability, I believe, under God to to shake, change your reality, ch- even change the way you feel by, by making a deliberate, concerted choice. But I think part of it is you can't do it in a silo. You can't, right. you can't do it alone. Um, it has to be, you know, a communal uh, group effort um, rather than just this solo journey of you trying to figure out life on your oh, own. Oh, for sure. We're talking to the guys from For King and Country about the song Joy, and, and you're right, because it, it is a choice, and I, I th- because joy is not determined by outward circumstances. Mm-hmm. That's the difference between joy and happiness. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. can say I'm not happy, but you can, you know, when something's going bad, but when you talk about having joy, you can still have joy amidst having problems. I know like uh, you, Luke, you have had health problems for mm-hmm. years, off and on, off and on. And so I would imagine some days that would have been, I have to choose joy today because it's not happy, you know? Absolutely. Well, for me, one of the things that I took kind of is going to these, early on in my diagnosis of bad health stuff. Uh, that's, I, the, that's the medical term. Yeah, I don't want to be bad, too, bad too tricky stuff. for people. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I realized like all I was getting was bad news from these people. And I was like, man, how, how can I have, you know, I was off the road. How can I have some sort of influence even in a moment like this? And I was like, man, I'm going to go in there and no matter what they tell me, I'm going to do my best to just display not necessarily happiness, right? but I want to, I want to display joy to these people. And I want them to go, man, I just told that guy a lot of bad news and he's somewhat cool with it. Yeah. Where does that point to? And There's I think something that's the, different. That's the, that's the challenge I think of this song. Mm-hmm. Is that man? If we can choose joy day in and day out, you know, people will see yeah. a marked difference yeah. in who we are as people, and and that's you know, a lot of people are like, "Hey, you wrote this song because you want other people." No, yeah, this, 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 this song is, therapy, is a reminder man. to us. Right, this when I sing it on stage, yeah. when I hear it, whatever, it's a reminder to me. Yeah, I'm gonna choose joy. It's an anthem for people, and I, I love it, man. And so, you know, that's what we're talking about with the guys from For King and Country. And it's, you know, it's basically one of the fruits of the spirits in in Galatians. You know, you've got love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness—all good things. But you guys chose joy. It's funny you say that because I have, I've started. I've kind of put a little bit of a asterisk against the fruit of the spirit, uh, and. A few and made a few kind of internal notes about them. One that it's one fruit. Mm. We always look at the the fruits, but it's actually the fruit. It's a singular group. If you have all of these things, and you can have counterfeit individual ones, but if if you actually if you if you connected to God, you actually have all them all of them all. And I kind of look at them whether or not this is you know. Call me theologians if this is wrong, but I kind of no, look don't. At, you don't want, I, you don't want that. You don't. call Wally. No, you call, definitely call don't Wally want that. If it's wrong, armchair but, theologians. But I, look, I look at it. I look at it as a chronological order thing. Right. You know that love is paramount. Gotcha. But right, tucked right under, un, uh, with all these great patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self, right under love is joy. Yep. You know, and so I feel like. It's, we talk about love a lot, and, and, and love is a profound thing, and love will outlast all of this. But if, if joy is tucked right underneath it, it's not this kind of glitzy, glammy Christmas, joy to the world. Right. It's, it's this guttural fight, decision, moment, like I said, moment by moment, day by day, choice that we have to make that is awfully important. Because if they're going to know us by our love, maybe arguably you could say they'll know us. By our joy. joy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, you have all of these fruits of the Spirit. We're talking to the guys from For King and Country. Uh, joy seems to sing better, too, like, than I have forbearance. 
Like yeah, it, I choose love. Yeah, like what if you had done I choose forbearance? Can you give me what that would sound like a cappella? And uh, I choose forbearance. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. work. Forbearance. Yeah, okay. Well, forbearance. I'm starting to see it now. You guys might have your follow-up single. You know, here. if you say it with a real distinct Australian accent, it's like, yeah. Yeah, I choose forbearance. Yeah. Then I, oh, you're like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it works. Would, and don't work. think I haven't noticed the uh, accent in uh, the megaphone. Uh, you know, that, that that really helps that song, too, <laughs> as well. Like, you guys really... Uh, are you, that's the oh, only... Oh, are you they, saying they, oversold that? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Okay. The <laughs> only time on the whole record that our accent shines through yep. is megaphone. Uh-huh. Dude, I've had people come up to me a lot and be like, hey, you guys are a I never hear it when you sing. Yeah. And I was like, well, think about how, what, how accents really work. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of the inflections. That all goes away when you sing. That's right. So I'm glad yeah. you noticed that one moment. I did notice that yeah. moment, too. That's what I do. I noticed Oh, by things. the way, speaking of Australia, Australians are big on nicknames, and I want everyone to know I have officially nicknamed Wally the Wallster. And, you know, from you in an, in an Australian accent, it actually sounds good, Jolie Poly, because that's what your dad calls you. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's, dad's in the room right now, too. He's got a real kick out of it. <laughs> but Wallster uh, is good. Hey. I, it sounds. It actually sounds cooler than Wally. Hey, how are you, man? My name's the Wallster. I li- I'm, I'm the Wallster. Especially if you can put the the, the. in there. Ooh. That's yeah. where you got something. The Wallster. Yeah. Not compared to other just Wallsters. The Wallster. Yeah. Singular. Yeah. I like it. So, if it, you know, listeners, next time you see Wally, Thanks. send him an email. Thanks. Thanks. Him Wallster. Pop him a tweet. No idea Mr. what you've just done to me. <laughs> yeah, like, that's great. That will be hours today in my email. <laughs> uh, another thing we want to talk about, too, is while we're talking about music and joy is the song that you guys did with your wives. We're bringing the ladies in here for a couple other uh, segments, but I want to talk about the song Pioneers uh, because you guys all sang on that together, and it's really, really cool. So we'll do that within 15 here on The Wally Show. Way of him, this is The Wally Show, and that, of course, is none other than uh, the guys from For King and Country, but this is really cool for us because we are joined not only by the guys, but the wives uh, from For King and Country. We have Mariah, uh, who also has a band, uh, Trala, and then we have uh, Courtney, who is Luke's wife, Mariah is Joel's wife. Everybody's caught up. We're on the same page here. Uh, so I, I, I want to get to this in a little bit because you guys actually had a song that you guys, all four of you, did together uh, called Pioneers, and I'm calling that the Civil Wars times four, uh, is because it, it kind of has that vibe to it. And then there's all four of you. Who who came up with the idea to say, hey, let's let's all do a song together? Well, songs sometimes have a way of um, suiting their name well in the process. And Pioneers was, was exactly that because we, we started it uh, in Los Angeles and we'd, we'd written this kind of variation of the song and it was called Pioneers, but it was just Luke and I singing and it started... It was a bit strange. Because it's a little strange to be two males singing, let's pioneer together. Yeah, okay, it's I get just, that. I, I mean, know. the video I've seen is beautifully shot, and it's good that the wives are there, because <laughs> yeah. you guys sit on a mountain cliff together would have been... I mean, your brothers and all, but it's a little weird, let's be honest. So, and Mariah and I have sung together on some of her projects, uh, her solo projects, and uh, Courtney sung on, uh, did a feature on the second record, but it just felt like a wider song um, about marriage and walking through marriage and 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 what it means to step forward together we just celebrated our five years and oh they congratulations eight year. oh, yeah. i just celebrated 26 so <laughs> oh yeah mic drop yeah yeah, like, yeah there <laughs> you go it. and trust me it ain't easy living with me so my wife is uh the best person <laughs> on the planet uh so then you guys do this together which is actually really cool do you guys vacation together as well or do you have some sort of boundaries i think that we've vacationed quite a lot together i think we actually really like each other yeah, that's great friends. Friends. we are friends, are friends. <laughs> that's a, but see that's so great i would great. choose you yeah. i would choose you <laughs> <laughs> and then you guys get to you, make Zuba. music I choose, you, I choose you courtney well here's what we're going to do again we have uh for king and country and we have uh the wives from uh, the guys in For King and Country. We're going to do a thing called Better Half where only the ladies can answer, but we'll do that in a <laughs> few minutes. This is probably a good thing, yeah, a good yeah, yeah. rule. But before that, we want to find out who is the best couple. So we got five years uh, for Mariah and Joel. Oh, this is a good game. Oh, yeah. I like this. We got eight for Luke and Courtney. So here's the way it's going to work. And okay? we met at Luke and Courtney's wedding. They, Did you really? Yeah. They deserved yeah. We already have the Trump card. Mariah they, was a they, wedding they, crasher let's that just I before we knew s- came. Really? Yeah. There, yeah. Did you crash it to meet him or was it an accident? We were, we were introduced. I was what? someone's plus one, and was I, it a, a, a girlfriend's plus one? It was, yeah, it was a okay. girlfriend's. Okay, make sure you weren't there with another dude, and then you're like, yeah. oh, hey. <laughs> okay, I'm just <laughs> trying to get to the but bottom. She was the girlfriend's plus one with the intent to meet 
me. Really? Not, and, not my intent. My girlfriend's intent. Okay. Yes. Because yes. you're like, I'm awful. not a stalker. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, right. You came, so it was yeah. still your intent. That's to me. right. Thank you, Luke. I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Even on my own wedding day, I was like, I see what's happening right here. I was like, yes. That's awesome. Okay. And he so, caught my garter. So. He, oh, good. really? Mm. Here's how it's going to work, oh, okay? I, boy, I caught that garter. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's that's pretty you know, creepy. Yeah, but it's better with an accent. Oh. Had I said it, people would have just thrown up in their mouth a little. Uh, yeah. So at least it's not that bad. Good point. Good point. <laughs> so the way we're gonna do yeah. this is, you guys are gonna uh, be a team, your couple team there, okay? And I'm gonna say a word or ask a question, and then I'm gonna count to three, and then you're gonna say an answer together. If your answer matches, then you get a point. If you uh, don't get it right, then we're gonna discuss whose fault it was that you got it wrong. Okay? <laughs> so here we go. And I try think, and start an argument. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, think okay, we know the answer. All right. Great. So we're going to start over here with uh, Luke and Courtney. So here we go. Um, TV show that you watch together. H-G- Three, two, one. HGTV. HGTV. Okay. She, all right. I she did kind of. She did the HG. I was just so ready, and I I've had a lot of coffee. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> Doesn't count. <laughs> cancel cancel you the say point, game, Wally. I say yes. I might, I might actually give you a, a, some grace on one, too, because they jumped <gasps> yes. up the gun on that one. All so right. uh, <laughs> Luke and Courtney, uh, here we go. Uh, that was their point. We're going to give them one. So Joel and Mariah, here we go. Um, most important part of a healthy marriage. Most important part of a healthy marriage. Healthy marriage. Oh. Three, two, no, one. No, 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 I don't have it. I don't have it yet. Most uh, important part of the oh, health. Okay. Eyes. Three, two, one. Communication. There you go. Yeah. Gosh, that was like a soft lob. <laughs> that was amazing. I mean, the irony, though, is the Coke amount of work dress. it took to get them, but to both say communication, though. <laughs> like, no, three. Are you going to go? No, me. Three, two, one. But I now think we're also, together. I, know, I think it also revealed a lot about that marriage because they were like, we will not screw this up. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. It's you look tense. at me in the eyes. Yeah. It's very tense in the Mariah and Joel household. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will say that, too. We are playing for a prize as well. So, oh, uh, yeah, nice. just up the ante a smidge. Is it a, is it a ten dollar Chick Fil A card? No, no, okay, and it's good. not even five dollar like, Starbucks card. No, and it's oh. not even Wally Show swag either. Uh, oh. No, that would be a bummer. All right, so here we go. Uh, back to uh, Luke and Courtney. Uh, the last thing you argued about: three, two, one. The birthday party. Yeah. Well, you can't say oh. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I was, like, and it wasn't yeah. really an intense argument, but it, it was, was just like organizing to get ready for a bash of what sixty five plus yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. And you're all like. And this was last out. night. Mm. Oh, this really? was last night. We just yeah. did oh, it. It was great. Did you not get the I'm, invite? No, I didn't. Oh. Whose was it? Whose birthday was it? Leo's. Leo's first, first birthday. Party. Party. You haven't met him, you so were it's appropriate. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't. That's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm gonna take Next a, time, just yeah. one year from now. I'm be taking there, away your square. other point. Hey, so. It was an awesome party, though. Zuby, <laughs> okay. you did a great job, it. Courtney. But, you know, when you try to be extra. It just, you All know. Right. Sometimes extra, extra can catch up with you. Friction can happen. <laughs> well, we're playing the best couples game with for King and Country and their wives. Uh, back to uh, Joel and Mariah here. Uh, your favorite place to eat. Three, Three two, one. Two, one. two, two ten, ten Jack. Jack. Wow. Ew. That is impressive. Ew. That was That's a bit of a lob, though. Is it? Like, when you do yes. an argument, there's a lot of semantics right. in an argument, but our restaurant... Game. Ramen is their okay. Ramen our is life. our thing. Really? Oh, ramen! Because I can't do that question with my wife because she changes her mind constantly on her favorite place to eat. It's like a moving target. I never get it right. All right, here we go. Back to uh, Luke and Courtney. Dream vacation. Three, two, one. Italy. Italy. Wow! Whoa! There you go. <laughs> nicely done. Right. I thought you might have said Hawaii because you were just there, but nicely done. That's fine. Okay, here we go. Uh, Favorite ice cream flavor for Joel and Mariah? Three, oh, no. two, oh. one. Chocolate. Oh, no point there. Green tea ice cream? I love that. It's actually super I mean, good. Are, we, are we meant to have the same no, favorite I, we, ice cream? No, we yes. just don't have the don't. same favorite ice cream. We absolutely wow. do not. Okay, that no. could be a problem. For I you. think this that's healthy. A, hey, yeah. diversity is a good yes. thing. Okay, well, I, I mean, I'm not a counselor, but I see that as a problem. All right, uh, here we go. Um, uh, back to Luke and Courtney. Other than a kangaroo, an animal found in Australia. Three, two, one. Koalas. Courtney uh. with a face of nothing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. The Cause... party, coffee, okay, three no children. Worries. I'm like, I don't know. No air conditioning in the car on the way. <laughs> okay. It's just. All right. Well, here it's we go. Much. It's too You much. can win it right here, uh, Joel and Mariah. You can win it with this answer right <laughs> here. Mm. Other than Joel or Luke, other than Joel or Luke, name a small bone sibling. Oh. Three, two, oh. one. Ben. ben. <laughs> 
<laughs> so she Ben's the favorite? Cheated. Like, like Ben's how? Ben's the favorite? Yeah. Uh, no, Uh-oh. Ben's not the favorite. Ben's just Ben's my big brother. He but, does all our video but, but work. But Joel mouthed it out. Like he, he, did. he oh, went, She actually, Joel, she so, actually we mouthed both, out we Josh. We both did. We oh, both mouthed. I thought you guys were going to go for Josh. <laughs> yeah. oh, bad form. Bad form. If you cheated, there's hey, a lot of small. That gets it like a minus point, right? Yeah, so. that You're victorious. Does. You know what? I'm going to penalize you for cheating, and that what? means that Luke and uh, yeah! Carter, you're the winner. Yeah! Yeah! Nicely done. Open, Open that up so Open you guys. It. You guys win. wrapped a present. This is. Fair. I actually wrapped that. So look, I got some wrapping skills. You did wrapping skills. We are carpenters. You are very good. Three humans into the world. They oh, deserve yeah. it. We only have a great Dane. Oh. Yeah. That's worthless. Oh. So you can remember this moment of being the best couple. You have a oh. picture frame uh, for you guys. I have found my someone. Should we that keep them in my there? My soul loves. Oh, yeah. You can't put your own photo yeah. in there. Okay. We'll yeah. just put them on the wall. That's All right. Well, congratulations. Uh, that is Beautiful. the best couples game. Uh, <laughs> Luke and Courtney won that. But in, a, in like 15 minutes here, we are going to do something with just the ladies. And I'll explain it because it's called Better Half. And so I want to mm-hmm. talk to the wives of the guys in For King and Country here on The Wally Show. Way FM, this is The Wally Show, and that is for King and Country. And we're going to do something here now, which I'm really excited about. This is a segment called Better Half, okay? You've heard the phrase, uh, behind every great man is an even greater woman. And uh, that is the case because we have Mariah, who is Joel's wife, and we have Courtney, who is Luke's uh, wife here. And so here's the rules. I'm going to ask you questions about the guys, okay? And Joel and Luke, you get one chance to interrupt. You get one chance to, you know, debate or correct, okay? But that's it. So choose it wisely because I got a bunch of questions all right Mm. so here we go better half with the wives from for king and country besides music what is something that joel slash luke does very well let's start with you courtney and luke you you know tennis he could have been just like a really good tennis player it's like you and i have lived the same life except i'm just a shorter version of it luke because i uh, grew up playing tennis was on a pro track and then uh, just totally got out of it. I mountain bike. You want a mountain bike. You can talk to me now. It's okay. Well, we're best friends. Right? Romance right I now. I know. Goodness. It's crazy, okay? So tennis, that's something people would not... Yeah. If you're at the net, no one's going to lob over you. Dude, literally, I had a, a coach come to me once and I, when I was 12, I was fairly tall yeah, at 12. Seven and this foot. is when I was playing a lot. And he was like, man, if your serve is very fast. If you serve and volley, no one's ever going to get this no. ball over you. And no. so I used to, I literally remember playing in some tournaments and the other kids would go out at serve and they would brace themselves. <laughs> they would get scared. <laughs> and then, and you would Luke just loves get, this. You, they just got a little, yeah. But I, I loved playing tennis. I had some mental problems on the court occasionally. Okay, some outbursts. Uh, is the mo- literally I had a conversation with <laughs> deep, my mother. Deep once. seated anger. My, really? my mother came to me it. once and she said, "She said, Luke, you are calm in everything you do except when you play tennis." I get it. I broke three rackets, <laughs> smashing <laughs> them on the ground. John so. McEnroe times two would have been hundred percent. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I struggled a little bit with with the game mentally. I get that. All yeah. right, so uh, Mariah, what is it that Joel does well besides music? He's a great actor. I will tell you that you are absolutely right. Your work in uh, Priceless, I thought was mm. really good. Like, hey, that meant a lot to me, Wally. When you, because you, t- you watched it when it released, yeah. And you texted me or called me, and you told me that. I was Thank impressed. You. Yeah, I was really impressed. It was really good. So he's he's a good actor. So that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're doing uh, our little uh, better half here with the wives from the guys in For King and Country. Um, you guys spend a decent amount of time apart because the guys are on the road. What do you miss about Luke when he's gone, Courtney? <laughs> This is the sappy stuff. I'm getting ready to lower the hammer. <laughs> um, is it weird to say his smell? <laughs> yes, it is. And expound upon that, please. I'll be honest. You know, like, okay, when you first date someone and you're like, all oh, like, oh, I love you. This is yeah. amazing. And you like borrow their sweater. Okay. So I got you, you can smell it at night. Yes. It's the smell. Okay. It's still going. Oh, like, Eight years into marriage, I just really? I will sometimes grab a sweater he's worn okay. and smell it. Really? That's, that might be You weird. know how dogs are prone to like <laughs> grabbing a sweater and like yeah. taking it around the house? Yeah. Courtney actually does I, that. Just, it I might want, be weird, but it's honest. Okay. No, and I appreciate that. I want to make it one step weirder. Go. Zach, will you smell Luke? Just see what you, Yeah. See what you, see what, you, see see what you, all the hubbub's about. He smells great. <laughs> Get in there, Zach. Oh, no. Get in there. Oh, Oh, wow. How would you describe that? Uh, I don't know, but can I borrow a sweater? (laughs) (laughs) Is it earthy? I'll get one for you. (laughs) It's earthy. It's going to be hard to beat that, but what do you miss about Joel Mariah when he's on the road? 
Um, I think when we're both apart, uh, we both miss being home together. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, oftentimes when he's out on the road, I'll be traveling. And so cuddling on the couch and watching Netflix is... And just smelling him. Very... You should, you should add <laughs> that in. basic. No, yes. no. My <laughs> wife actually has a very keen sense of smell. Oh. So mm. most of the time it's, it's, you know, something needs to change. A shower <laughs> needs to be had. <laughs> yes, Teeth needs to be brushed. <laughs> that's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> All right, I got more better have questions for the ladies uh, who are married to these gentlemen and for King and Country. And uh, we'll do that within 10 here on The Wally Show. That was weird, but it. it it's babes, it's true. good. Oh, it's wonderful. It's good, it's good radio, me? babes. It's yeah. good radio. I, I literally grab a sweater and I'm like. <laughs> no, like she legitimately. Yeah. Like, I, legitimately I will come home put and she will have on. my yeah. sweater on. Aww. My wife. Kind of no, I get it. That's like, it's creepy, but I get it. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Way FM, this is The Wally Show, and that is actually uh, for King and Country. Uh, it's a song called Pioneers, which we're going to get to uh, more of that in a minute, and it actually features the wives of the guys, Joel and Luke, from For King and Country, Mariah and Courtney, singing on that, which I think is, is fabulous. I think that's really cool. Uh, but right now we're doing Better Half, where we're asking the ladies questions about the men here, and we're going to ratchet it up, like I said. Uh, so here we go. When, which you say with a smirk. Uh, yeah, I He's do. getting excited. <laughs> Sorry, this is my favorite part. Um, so, okay, you guys, we had talked about what you love about them uh, last time when they're gone. What is the most challenging part of them coming home? And Courtney, I can count on you for honesty after that whole sweaty you, smells yeah. like thing. <laughs> yeah. I got you. So back to the whole like articles of clothing. Coming home with a bag of smelly, yeah. gross concert stuff and poof, it just goes all over the floor and you're like, Man. Yeah, I don't work for you. I'm like, I'm so happy you're home, but this is gross. Okay, so yeah, and, and it's tough to... For king and country sweat. When guys come home a lot of times, too, I think they want to control things. And like when you're there doing it by yourself, you're like, no, I got this. But guys, we have that tendency to do that. That can be problematic, I would called imagine. called the re-entering. Oh, really? Yeah. You guys there's, have a phrase, a phrase for it? <laughs> nice. It's called the re-entering. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Oh. So what about you, uh, Mariah? When Joel's gone, what's the trickiest part of him coming back? In sleep schedules, I guess. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, because when you're out on the road, you're just a night right. owl and stuff. And when you're at home, like, you have a normal life. And so it would be hard to, to transition, I would mm-hmm. imagine. Mm-hmm. And so you have trouble uh, with that. Um, what is one area you think you could improve in your marriage? Because I mean, no marriage is perfect. I mean, I got 27 years in, uh, 26. Uh, you guys have eight and five. And so there's always little things that we can tweak. So we'll go back to Courtney here. Uh, what do you think is an area? That, and, and guys, you can feel free to jump in on this one because it's kind of serious uh what is an area you guys go you know what this is what i'd like to improve you know i feel like this is maybe my favorite year of marriage oh good and i just feel eight? like mm. out of eight <laughs> Luke's because like, what? i feel like winning once you, <laughs> well, <laughs> let her talk. Well, <laughs> he's so excited right now um like when you first get married there's a lot of like weird stuff you do like i know i was like why doesn't he know i'm mad i'm just gonna be quiet right Mm. those silly things Mm. and now i feel like we're just not doing any of that anymore so i feel like it's good communication i think one thing i know i want to get better at i can't speak for him right i can only control me yes but i could that sounds like therapy talking (laughs) dude i've done a lot of it so wally how do you feel about that yes exactly yes that's there you go i think for myself, um, I can be a little like that whole reentering control thing, and I could step back quicker right. and just better. So I'm trying to do that. I get that. I get that. Because yeah. you're you're a you. I've known you, and so you're like a yeah. dominating presence, which I <laughs> which I love about you. I think it's I think it's what makes you you, and and why you're so awesome. But I could see where you would say, okay, I need to step back. I just sometimes. need to step back sometimes. I get that because I'm the same way. I'm yeah. I'm totally the same way. Yeah. Luke, we'll go ahead and field this yeah. one to you. What do, what is an area you think? You know what? I this is what I could see working on. I I heard when we first uh, went through. Um, you know, prep for marriage counseling and all that. And they were like, you know, husbands, it's very, very important for you to be really good listeners. Mm-hmm. And and you hear that mm-hmm. and you're kind of like, I got this in the bag. We've dated for, you know, right. and, and, you, and you think you're kind of overconfident. But I, I feel like as husbands, like I can come home from the road and she can kind of give me all of the problems. And man, I want to fix them. And right. I, and I want to get the kids in line and I want to mm-hmm. come back and right. get everything mm-hmm. into shape. And, uh, 
most of the time when she's doing that, she just wants me to hear her problem. Like the problems that have a- a- occurred, yeah. not necessarily come. And I used to have this thing like when she would tell me some of the things that were going on at home, be like, I'm coming home right now. Right. I'm going to come and say, and she's like, no, I don't. I actually love what you do. I love what's going on. Uh, this is not an SOS call. I'm just telling you, and I used to freak right. and go, I've got to come home and, and make all these changes. At the end of the day, we, as we've talked about it, it's like, I just need you to hear that I am frustrated with the kids. I am whatever. This isn't for you to go and come home and take the kids or go out and do this. It's just I'm letting you know these things. And that is something that that I've learned, but I'm also continuing to learn. It's hard because as guys, we want to fix. That's yeah. our natural yeah. inclination when yeah. they just want to tell you what's going on. And, and my head is, why are you telling me if you don't want me to fix yes. it? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard. That's a good point. Yeah. That's yeah. so good. All right. So we're doing a, a little, it's turning into group therapy here uh, with uh, the guys <laughs> and ladies from For King and Country, their wives. And so same question to you, uh, Joel and Mariah. What's something, Mariah, that you go, you know what? You've only got five years in and that's still a learning process. Where, where's an area inside your marriage that you go, you know what, this is what I think we could work on. Well, we just recently had a conversation about this, and it's probably... And Joel was wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Very very rarely. He's a good guy. Uh, it's It's an interesting cultural conversation that we have, you know, as a couple, but also with friends and with our community, like the roles of a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we don't have kids. We both work. And so... Um, those conversations come into play of like, okay, so whose job is it to That's do the fascinating. washing? Yeah. <laughs> whose job is it to do the dishes? Um, you know, I I am not a great cook whatsoever. <laughs> so you know, even yeah, the conversation is. of, of <laughs> oh, cooking. look at you saving it. Um, and and I think also for for a lot of um, you know entrepreneurial women that that conversation can be difficult because you can sometimes feel like you need to sort of take a stand uh, on what you won't do Mm. because you don't want to succumb to some sort of stereotype. And um, it's taken me some years to kind of get over that. Like stereotypes are more about what other people think of you than you think of yourself. Mm. What works for you in your situation is what works. Yes. Mm. So the thing that I want to get better at and I think we're getting better at is um, stepping in and helping run our home together as a team and finding joy in uh, doing the kind of household chores and tasks because I know that it's a love language that I can use to express how Mm. I feel about Joel to Joel. That's so, awesome. Yeah. That's I'm good. Working on. That's really good. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to finish this up uh, here with uh, something uh, positive. I think that was all positive, but uh, that uh, I want you, Courtney and uh, Mariah, we'll start with you, Mariah, to tell me your best marriage memory of Joel. Mm. Oh, that was a nice yeah, That's really smile. easy to hand, answer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, this is going to sound a bit childish but um whenever Joel and I are home together he has this really sweet habit of carrying me from the couch to bed and tucking me in. <laughs> that's Aww. fantastic uh, <clears throat> yeah it sounds weird but no I, 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 that's my favorite thing but I get it I get it. I'm too weak to carry my wife <laughs> because I'm because I'm weak not that she's big <laughs> <laughs> Gotta really, really clarify. I just, I, and we always oh have goodness. upstairs. Uh, but uh, like, <laughs> we had the same ritual where I would uh, pull the covers up and I'd Aww. go, tucky, 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 tuckies. Okay, it's that's so adorable. dumb. <laughs> that's oh, yeah, that's yeah. a whole new level. Joel, yeah, but it's good. That's adorable. Yeah. I love it. Tucky, tucky. Thank you. I'm doing that tonight, no, You should. No. Tucky, 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 tucky. tucky, tucky. tucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The line. So, Courtney, what is your favorite marriage memory? That's of amazing. Luke? Okay, so this Thank might be. Weird and maybe slightly whatever, but it's not sniffing sweaters. Well, we, um, we've grown a little here I've today. Grown. Um, so when Leo had his skull surgery, yeah. one of my favorite memories was Leo was super drugged up on all the things in the hospital bed, mm-hmm. and we were chilling on the couch, like eating Chipotle and like napping on and off and just hanging out. And I just love that. We can have fun wherever. Mm. And I just was like, man, I'm so glad we get to do this together. Like anything we can Mm. do together. And that's what I just love most about him. And amidst during a really rough time, too. Yeah. That's nice. That we could have fun. That base. Exactly. That you can still have fun in the midst (laughs) of what could 
destroy some people, you know, which yes. is a, it's a great, healthy sign of your marriage. Yeah. Well, there you go. Nicely done. We've done some work here with Better Half <laughs> and uh, the wives of the guys and for King and Country.